was born in Crosby. I come from a family of nine children. The town of Deerwood was four miles from Crosby, Ironton, which was the range town. One of the uh, local teachers was from Northfield. Her sister was secretary to a vice president of Carlton. He welcomed me on the campus and took me around. Finally, he said, uh, well, what do you think? I said, it's the most beautiful place that I've ever seen. He said, uh, would you like to go here? There I am seeing Carlton, deciding that I'd take a chance and go with his offer. My uh, assigned advisor was Duncan Stewart. He signed me up for 24 semester hours. So I show up for my first class and here's the model professor. He put all the emphasis on earthquakes, uh, volcanoes, and glaciers. And uh, he built a rest around it and it was exciting and wild, you know. It was obvious adventurous and seeing it at his house, the film that he himself took in Antarctica. Here on the left is Commander Byrd, then I'm the next one starting out on a 1500 mile sled journey. I wanted to find some sandstone and I hoped that there might be some coal in it. The day I got into geology changed my life and I never the same again. I took a job with the U.S. Geological Survey doing what was considered a good, acceptable wartime geology. I was able to uh, hunt down a lot of fuel for the Navy. We uh, did some of the very early work on uh, oil shale and tar sands became a big source and now is a big source of petroleum. I went ahead and applied to get into the infantry now. I uh, got sent to uh, Eisenhower's command and was given an assignment to hunt down bodies. In many cases, the, uh, the Germans just tore off the dog tags and dumped the bodies. And gruesome, I don't know if gruesome is the right word. It, it, uh, that's, there's nothing worse than the smell of decaying human body. Worse than with any kind of animal. So if you're making a, a sacrifice, your, your clothes were so putrid that uh, uh, people we had working for us trying to keep ahead of our cleaning our boots and so forth uh, could hardly carry on that assignment at all. I was in Germany, in uh, the British zone, when I got a letter from Larry Gould inviting me to come back and teach and coach. And uh, I can imagine how I felt with my hero selecting me. I was with Jones and Lock and Steel Corporation looking for iron ore deposits. We were using up our supplies drastically. We had fought two wars based on iron ores of northern Minnesota. The Atomic Energy Commission wanted Jones and Lock and Steel to run a survey to see whether there's any chance of getting radioactive material in the United States. This was the time of the Manhattan Project. We combed northern Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, upper New York, part of Canada, and Northwest Territories. In the completely new area in northern Michigan, I went ahead and worked my way down this stream. All at once, it just looked strange to me. 
here I am standing on what I suspect might be something of value. It was uh, quite an experience. We had the use of some of the first really good helicopters for exploration work. I selected southeastern Alaska looking for anything that will help the metal situation in the U.S. It felt like a giant hand had taken the plane or the boat and was slamming it against the water. It ended up raising a water wave 1,800 feet high, tore out all of the trees up to a height of 1,800 feet. All along the edge where the wave went, all the trees, stumps, branches, everything was carried toward the ocean. Icebergs as much as 500 feet in diameter carried along with the logs and stuff out to sea. It was just uh, so revealing of the, uh, of the power of the quake. What we're looking for as the early sources of copper, Bronze Age stuff. For the next couple of years, we gather all the native coppers around the world. I took samples through all of the native copper mines in Upper Michigan. Ended up getting chunks that you could just barely lift. It's an example of something in nature that has been directly important to civilization. It allowed the early peoples to make tools. It would give a whole different standard of living. We were to meet in Czechoslovakia. Things were pretty well affected by the Cold War. We'd hardly got camp set up, and we started hearing powerful airplanes. We were standing alongside of a Russian tank with some Czechoslovakian women who were taking chunks of rock and pounding on the tank. The women would be hanging on the sides of our car. Please, please help us. You're American, you can help us. Pretty feeble feeling. You know. changed my life. If I want to do the most I possibly can, give as much as I can to a friend, I would give them geology.